Hello everyone. This is lesson number 9, counter instruction of KV7500. In this video, I will show on how to program counter instructions. In counter instructions, we have counter, up counter, counts rising edges of counting input device, and reset after execution condition is turned off. Out counter, the out counter function is also up counter. Counts based on execution condition, and reset via reset instruction. In addition, there is also up or down counters, UDC. Now I will show you an example on how to input or program a counter instructions. We will simulate our counter, so that we can see on how our counter counts and resets. First we will turn on R1. As you can see, the value of our counter 0 is 0. Now, I will turn on R0. The value of counter 0 is incremented by 1. Then let's see what will happen if counter number 0 reaches the setting value, which is 10. As you can see, counter number 0 turns on when it reached its set value. Now, let's see what will happen if we will turn off R1. As you can see, Counter number 0 resets its current value. Now, I will show an example on how to program an out counter instruction. Now, we will simulate our program, so that we will know on how our out counter counts and resets. Let's see what will happen if we will turn on R0. As you can see, counter number 0 incremented by 1. Let's turn on R0 again, and let's see what will happen. As you can see, counter number 0 incremented by 1. Let's see what will happen if counter number 0 reached set value. As you can see, counter number 0 turns on.
Let's see what will happen if we will turn on R1, or execute reset instruction. As you can see, the counter number 0 resets its current value. Now, I will show an example on how to program up down counter instruction. We will simulate our program, so that we can see on how our up-down counter works. As we can see, our counter number 0 current value is 0, and set value is 10. Let's see what will happen if we will turn on R0. Our counter number 0 current value is incremented by 1. Let's see what will happen if we will turn on R1. Our counter number 0 current value now is 3. As we can see, our counter current value is decremented by 1. Now, let's see what will happen if our counter reaches our set value. As we can see, our counter did not turn on at current value is equal to set value. As we can see, our counter resets its current value and turns on after exceeding our set value. Let's see what will happen if we will turn on R2. Our counter number 0 current value resets. Our up-down counter turns on at zero, in increment input, and equal to set value in decrement input. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share.